Welcome to week three of, uh, or week four of Dreadnought Month, the final week of Dreadnought Month, where we will be reviewing Dreadnought Torch. Let's start with looking at uh, this file card, which is right there. You can pause here and read at your leisure. Let's take a look at uh, Dreadnought Torch's accessories. And here is his accessories, which start off with his figure stand, which upright is Cobra logo, Dreadnought Torch on the front. And he comes with his kind of generator backpack, which you can actually put in this uh, um, oxygen fuel tank inside of it. It also attach, comes with it attached to a hose which connects to a cutting torch. And uh, so here's torch. Uh, I actually like the mutton chops on the torch figure. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, this head goes 360. Arm can raise to about here. Bends at the elbow, rotates 360. His wrist is swivel 360. Uh, actually, has the ad cards feature, but once again, the uh, whip gear is kind of blocking it. Come down to his legs, which Actually, when this leg has this weird looking holster type thing on it, which I have no idea what it's for. But you can spread his legs about like so far. Leg comes to about there. Like always on most G.I. Joe modern era figures, double joints at the knee. Plus his ankle can swivel 360 and you can bend at the ankle. And let's take a look at Torch fully set up. Here's Torch all fully assembled. Thank you for thank you for viewing out Dreadnought Month. Uh, it's been a good month. Tune in next week as we review Specialist Altitude and go into a six-week G.I. Joe figure, G.I. Joe uh, series, but a uh, five-week G.I. Joe figure review. Uh, tune in next week as to go over Specialist Altitude. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down button. Subscribe for further channels. And uh, check out other channels like HCC788, Forum BXC57, and others. And uh, have a good weekend.